Hello everyone and welcome to another JC Inventory tutorial video. My name's Jack and today we're going to be looking at how to create new equipment slots. So, uh, what we'll be doing today is I've sourced some lovely cowboy boots from uh, Wiki Commons um, and we're going to create a slot for our character to wear them because as you can see uh, currently, our character can't wear boots, which is quite a shame. Um, so, to get started, uh, the first thing I need to do is I need to make some boots. Um, so to do that, I've actually got to create a new um, enum that will allow for uh, for a boot slot. So, if you come into structs. This is kind of where all the data behind JC Inventory is held, and you can saw, see all the different data structs here. Um, come on down to Slot Type, and you'll see these are all our different selections that we can have for the slots, and you can add and remove these as you see fit. And that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to add a new one and call it Boots or Feet. No, let's go with Boots kind of like that more. Obviously, it's arbitrary. Uh, enums just refer back to a byte. They're just nice and clean for human eyes. Okay, so we've set that up, and now we need to make our item. I've maybe forgotten where I put my little boots, probably in demo. Here they are. I'm going to right-click, and I'm just going to do it here, because, you know, I'm, I'm probably going to delete it after the example, but I'd probably want to put it in my item folder and put my texture somewhere that wasn't just smack bang in the middle of my project regardless um, so to make a new item uh, you can go through one of my other videos for more details on this I'm just gonna zip through it because it's not a very painful uh, it's not a very painful process uh, I'm gonna make a child class of the JC inventory item and we're gonna call it cowboy boots oh it's the same name as my image let's call it BP Cowboy boots, and that's that's better anyway, isn't it? Okay, we'll just save and compile. It needs a static mesh. I don't have one. We're just going to use an ammo box, so they're maybe they're they're packaged. <laughs> okay, and we've got to fill out the item data. Okay, so here in the slot types, we can go down and select boots, because that's what they are. Okay. And we don't really need to worry about attributes, but... Uh, will do. Okay, so that item's set up, and now we should be able to place them in the world, and pick them up. There we go, we've got some little little boots. Now, clearly, that's not going to do us much good, because according to our inventory system, we don't even have legs. So, let's get on fixing that. Um, to fix that, you're going to want to go into the root folder of JC Inventory. Then you're going to go to widgets, and then after that, you're going to go to the JC player equipment window. So this should look pretty familiar. Um, some of the spots are not propagated yet. Uh, for example, the uh, the items are propagated here and whatnot. Um, but you can come have a look, and you can see we've got a few widgets. Um, in the hierarchy view here, you can see that they're just JC player equipment slots that have been placed there. There's no need for code here or anything like that. Um, you can just place them into the UMG uh, window and that's it, you're set up. Uh, so what separates them? Well, if we click them, we can see that they've got default values. Um, for example, armor has the slot type of armor. So only items with the enum set to armor will be able to be equipped there. Um, likewise, the primary slot here on, on our weapon area, secondary here, uh, and helm for the head. Um, so, 
it makes logical sense that we should probably just be able to go to user created and pull in a new player equipment slot do some formatting maybe try to make it square hold on probably easier to type this one we'll call it 85 by 85 shall we and maybe just just there okay and now we need to fill out the information so we're gonna say only boots are gonna be allowed in the boot slot and technically that's all we need to do the rest uh, actually doesn't uh, need to be public in terms of editing it uh, on the defaults menu um, but if we wanted to we could give our slot a slot name and the reason for this is is surely the enum would be enough in most game cases but I thought about it well what if I have two torsos or you know maybe I've got four heads you know and each one of those heads could have a helm slot how would I go about you know differentiating between the heads and that's where the slot name comes in it's a string so it can be you know anything you want um, and and that way you can can work out what head and you know what or what you know 24 uh, 25th foot or whatever you want so it's not necessary but it is uh, it, it can be important in some cases especially when you're not dealing with humanoids or you're dealing with maybe uh, rings and in a lot of RPGs of course uh, you've got two or three ring slots and they're all ring slots but but they are different they're they're unique to each other okay so um, let's just call this um, legs I don't know that will do I think I called the the helm slot head we can call that legs that's consistent enough we want to save and compile and that's it that's all that needs to be done um, as you can see we're wearing boots now uh, what's going on there how about I put a breakpoint in and we can actually see what affects that and we'll, we'll be dealing with this part in the next tu tutorial as well where I explain how to create uh, different effects when you equipped and de-equipped items uh, for example adding to strength or equipping a gun um, that will be in the tutorial after this one but let's just have a quick look at that now um, and we're going to look at demo we're going to have a look at JC inventory character and we're just going to scroll up through the code and see this very quick perhaps a little bit dirty implementation of the equipment change um, I'm just gonna pop a break point here so we can see what's going on we equip that item okay so as you can see uh, this has been called because our equipment has changed um, and then we it gets passed to the get equipment slot properties and this returns legs so we know that the legs have been changed um, we know that it's an enumerator 5 which uh, is equal to boots um, if we were to make that put it through a passing um, and the item data which is uh, very hard to read because it's big and chunky uh, if we come here though we can oh no we're not there yet <laughs> Well, I guess you can see there it says cowboy cowboy boots in the name so that has worked um, there's no logic to do anything in our game uh, but we could add that logic perhaps they would um, how about in the next example we do some sort of an incumbrance system uh, and and we'll, we'll add up the the weight of the boots okay that will conclude this video I'll provide a link to the next video when it's available uh, and thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.